Welcome to Arup Field, the home of Central Connecticut football for the last seven decades, and now one of the premier stadiums in the entire region. I can remember the first game that my wife Barbara and I came to. We were not more than five or ten minutes before the game, and there was just a handful of people in the stands. I actually thought that it was possible that, we, that I might have gotten confused and that we weren't having a home game that day, and there was just a handful of people there for something else. When I first arrived on campus in 1955, we had lockers downstairs in the old Memorial Hall, which is now the uh, food service building. People just sat on the hillside on, on, on the east side. We practiced and played on the same field. It was at the bottom of a, of a hill uh, where now sits Kaiser Hall. It was a turkey farm up there. And uh, it was not too uh, uh, uncommon to find a turkey once in a while on our field. It's so different because you can come an hour before the game and the parking lot is full and people are, are tailgating. This scoreboard just brings a whole different presence to our athletics complex when you, as the entree to Central Connecticut, the campus, the university and the athletic department and it just gives a, a very big time classy aura to it. I think it will have an enormous impact on recruiting and, and the end result is that I believe we have the finest outdoor athletic complex in the Northeast Conference. The first Arute Field was, was where the library now sits. And there used to be an entrance uh, with a wrought iron top that said Arute Field. The press box that we had uh, when we moved over there, where we are now, was a uh, trailer. We walked up three or four steps in, into the trailer. And there weren't many people in there, even then. When you say, what does it do for the university? Well, it creates an atmosphere that makes it seem like that this is a destination and a place where people want to go and have a good time. We have a home venue for track and field. We have seating um, and lighting for soccer that makes us a competitive venue. We could theoretically host postseason competitions. We could um, have other events, and the baseball field, and the softball field. There's so many people to thank who had, who had a, an influence on us, and it starts right at the top with Dr. Miller, who you know, had the vision and the foresight to, when he got here, to say, we need this to not only help our athletics program, but enhance the, the stature and the perception of our, of our institution and our campus. People like Richard Bates, who, our Chief Administrative Officer, and Sal Centurino, our Director of Facilities, who took the vision and the plans and made it happen. And uh, so we're in great shape, and uh, it's, it, the end result is the hard work of, of a lot of people, and uh, it's, it's great to see it there. I think we have the best facilities now. As far as our athletic facilities are concerned, we, we, I don't think we take a back seat to anybody.